you are presenting tonight with John Cryer, and it's a bit of a, you know, two and a half men reunion. He's my son. I was his mother. It goes that way. For many years on Two and a Half Men, we got along very well. We we're very happy to see each other. And uh, I think it's a bit of a reunion because aren't they honoring many shows? And I think Two and a Half Men has to be one of them. So we're here for that. Yes, they're honoring 75 years of TV history here tonight with all sorts of reunions and special tributes. For you, when you were growing up, what's a show that you loved that made you want to work in television? Well, they had a they had shows that were live plays that were recorded live when I was young. The CBS Hour and um, I don't know what I don't even remember what they were called, but they were always very much in the newspapers. And it was a live performance of a play on television. And I think that convinced me. That made me think I I have to do that. I want to be an actor. And. Uh, I don't think they ever do that anymore, anything like that. But I mean, it was the Ed Sullivan show. That's where I first saw the Beatles and um, a couple of great old classics. That's what I watched. We saw your character go through a lot in the morning show. In the morning show, yes. Well, that was a real privilege. I mean, very rarely do you have a, a script that goes that deep. And they really met the challenge of writing truthfully about a news station. What, what, an, what the news has to contend with today, what the workplace must contend with today. And so I was blown away when I read the script. And they took a long time filming it very carefully. So it was wonderful. Do you think we'll see more of your character next season? Will she come back? I don't know. She could be, she could be axed out. I, have, I actually don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to be back. I'd like to, but I'm not sure where they could go. A film I watched recently that I just loved you in so much was Quiz Lady, because you can really do it all, comedy, drama. What was it like for you filming that movie? Well, that was weird because I was playing somebody who had to not have any intelligent thought, not be cultivated, not be well-spoken, not be anything, just a kind of a really down-in-the-dumps, ordinary, grumpy lady. And uh, it was great because who doesn't want to do stuff with Sandra O oh and with Aquafina, whom I adored. And then, of course, Paul Rubens. So that was great fun. It was great fun to do. But it was hard to play somebody so... Not my usual part. It was just such a funny film. I really, really enjoyed yeah, it. I'm thrilled, to, I'm thrilled to hear that. For you, what do you enjoy more, comedy or drama? I enjoy them equally, just as I enjoy the stage and film equally. They are very different. But I really know what I'm doing on stage, and less so in film. But in film, you can do a different kind of acting, very interior, very much inside. And so it's, it's a wonderful opportunity. So I love them both, but like children, not the same. And Hollywood had a tough 2023 with the dual actors and writers strikes. For you, what's the reason you still love Hollywood and love this industry? What's the reason I what? You still love Hollywood and love the entertainment industry. Well, I don't love the industry. I am married to the industry, and I am loyal to the industry. And I want to work on having a good relationship with the industry. So it's very problematical. There's lots of things that are difficult. And the union, the union battle this year was very correct. The union was going for things that we should have. So I was happy to participate, but it was very costly for many people.